afternoon, or this afternoon here now in Westland Nurseries at Seven Mile Beach. We're the only Tasmanian houseplant grower and we're standing now in a greenhouse of approximately 4,000 square metres. Uh, this house was originally imported from Holland about 10 years ago and it was actually a second-hand greenhouse. So it was originally built in the 60s in Europe and pulled down in the late 90s and we imported it uh, eventually and got, came in with new glass, screening and yeah, that was it, that came from Holland. We have then installed concrete floors in two thirds of the house, or three quarters I should say. Um, each floor is a heated floor and the floors have hot water pipes running through to maintain the temperature around about the 24 degree, or 21 to 24 degrees. Now, in one particular section of the greenhouse here, we have the ebb and flow floor, which we use for our poinsettia crop, which we obviously do for the Christmas market. Now, this floor will allow us to flood irrigate the crop, which is pretty important for poinsettias. The point, this house also has screening on it. Now, the screening in the house is double purposed. A, in the summer, to reduce the amount of light and the heat. It also acts as a heat blanket for us in the winter months. So when we're heating the floor and we put the screen over, when it's zero degrees outside, we stay a balmy, balmy I say, 14 degrees in the atmosphere. The floor will stay around about 17 to 20 degrees. Our heat pump system is not designed to do 100% 20 degrees right throughout the year. It's designed to keep us warmer and during the growing season, uh, during the winter months, but keep those root systems warm. Now, we can see here some, some of the area that's not heated. The concrete, no concrete there, just gravel beds. But we've got benches here made of farm gates. And uh, we just lift the stock up off the ground to keep it uh, better drainage and just for ease of work in the nursery. During the winter months, we'll grow hardier plants in this unheated section of the house. The rest of the year, we're putting it on the concrete heated soil and there's about 3,000 metres of heated floor space in this big house. Current crops of the house are pretty diverse, as you can see, and we are now in, Mar in late April, so we are going to start seeing some really cool nights coming through, and um, that just hardens up all the stock, and uh, we grow, we think, a pretty good house plant. Right, for the heating of this particular greenhouse, we've installed four 50 kilowatt output heat pumps, which you can see through the window there. And that's a very efficient way of heating our water. We heat the water from this tank behind me, which is 4,000 litres. And we, the four heat pumps outside job is just to keep this tank at about 28 to 30 degrees. From there, I then heat each of the three floors with a separate and that, that will suck the water. The water comes in at the top of the tank, warm. We then take it from the top of the tank, pump it through the circuit, and pump it through and push it back into the tank through the bottom of it. Now the water temperature is around 28 degrees to 30 degrees. When it returns, it's probably lost six to seven degrees. So the water, the cold water goes to the bottom of the tank. Meanwhile, we're drawing off the warm water at the top. On the reverse side of the heat pumps, they're drawing the water from the bottom of the tank and pushing it back into the top. At approximately the same level as what these tanks are taking it off here. This system works a treat. 
And we had a couple of, this has only been going since September last year, and the running costs compared to oil and to other sources of fuel was very, very reasonable. And um, yeah, so it's really important that we have this source of heat here. Now, as I said earlier on, we haven't got enough heat to maintain the house at 20 degrees constantly in the peak of winter, but that's fine. We're fortunate enough to where we are in this particular part of the world that we do get frosty days and cold days, but by midday or by nine o'clock generally, we do get some sunshine and uh, the house will heat up. So we, we, we manage to maintain our house plants in a very happy position. The cross section of plants that we grow as a house plant in Tasmania, and you can see there's a pretty broad range. Everything from Sansevierias, Peperonas, Cyclamen, Begonias, Thenanthus, Strobilanthus, Syngoniums, Dracaenas, you know, where anything we can class as a house plant, and some plants that mainland growers would class as trees and shrubs, we grow here as a house plant.